I've noticed a trend in the used graphics card market as of late. I've been watching it on and off just to see how prices react to what's going on in the world. And uh, it comes really as no surprise to some, but they're becoming more expensive. <laughs> I want to talk about why, like the real economic why and not just the, the CVY. And then we'll talk about alternatives so you can maximize value. Stay with me. The stylish Be Quiet Shadow Rock 3 offers exceptional cooling while maintaining a silent profile thanks to a PWM Shadow Wings 2 fan. And with a 190 watt TDP, expect plenty of overclocking headroom. Click the link below to learn more. So I'm gonna quickly scroll through eBay here to show you guys what I'm talking about uh, with respect to used graphics cards. I need the GTX 1070 as an example. It's been one of the cards I've been recommending habitually for years at this point uh, in the used market. I'm going to click buy it now. I don't like dealing with bids. Sometimes I'll throw so many bids out there that I'll end up buying or be, you know, being obligated to buy like six or seven of them. And uh, things always get pretty sporadic too toward the end of a bid. Uh, so I click buy it now and then I will sort by price plus shipping lowest first. So first up, we've got an MSI GTX 1070 box, literally the box only for 60 bucks plus 13.25 shipping. It's pretty insane that there's even a market for random boxes like this. Uh, we have a Zotac GTX 1070. It's a blower style card, 235. That's the next highest card. There is an Israel card, but I don't know many people willing to buy a card from Israel if you live in the States. Uh, there's also a PNY blower card, 235. Pretty expensive. This is an NO3D uh, iChill card. This is 220 plus 15 shipping, so 235. This is from the Russian Federation, so probably not gonna include that one. Uh, there's a Zotac Mini for 225 plus 11. The first like solid SC card from EVGA, let's say, 245 bucks. You can buy it now, it'll be here in a week. That's probably the best, like, just quick deal you can make on eBay right now for a 1070. And that's disappointing. I mean, 245, I was paying 200 bucks or even less in some cases for GTX 1070s about six months ago. So uh, problem number one, yeah, too expensive. And the further down we scroll, the worse it gets. I mean, 250 bucks for a PNY blower card? Are these, are these guys like, do they really expect to sell? I guess they are selling because almost every card on this list is priced at around 250 bucks or above. I'm not sure why they would be pricing these this way if they weren't selling. Although there is another explanation that we'll talk about later in the video. Stay tuned for that. So yeah, this changes the dynamic for sure. I mean, when the 1660 Super launched, I saw it as an opportunity for the GTX 1070 to drop in price even further in the used market. And they did it first, down to around 180 bucks at the time. The 1660 Super and 1070 are very similar performing cards, so it made sense. I mean, why would you buy a used, slightly less efficient card when you could buy a brand new one for nearly the same price? That's why these prices had to come down if sellers wanted to actually sell them. But now things are uh, a bit topsy-turvy. GTX 1070s now are around 250 bucks on eBay and 1660 Supers have actually surprisingly remained around launch price. So roughly 230 bucks. And that, in my opinion, makes them far better deals. I noticed Amazon was uh, out of a few SKUs, but Newegg appears to have plenty available, albeit with slightly longer shipping times. Other vendors seem to have at least one or two SKUs as well. I've linked ones we've reviewed and used in videos down below if you're interested. But remember, I can only speak for US markets in these cases, so your prices in your countries with different currencies might be totally out of whack. In fact, I expect many of them are, given the current economic climate. So why are things this way? Speaking of, and why are graphics cards more expensive now than they used to be in the used market? It's kind of a twofold question, right? Obviously with hectic health concerns shutting down much of the world economy, supply on the new side kind of drying up, Amazon's out of stock of several graphics cards and delayed shipping times compound the issue. I mean, why would you want to wait two weeks for a graphics card to even come into stock and then wait another 30 days for the product to actually show up at your door? So the used market responds as it should by raising prices to better reflect sudden surges in interest because people don't wanna buy new and wait when they could buy used, get those cards cheaper or what would be cheaper for the, for the early entrance, right? Before the market actually was able to react to what was going on. Uh, and yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I would do. That's what a lot of my friends have told me they've done. And I get a lot of feedback from you guys on Twitter. Uh, I see a lot of interest in the used market and that's a good thing. But what has happened as of late is a lot of the cheaper 
cards that were better deals, frankly, have disappeared. And they disappeared because people bought them. Plus, with stimulus checks rolling in for the Americans, people have uh, like a sudden urge to spend. And if your hobby is PC tech, you may end up buying something you don't necessarily need, especially if your current financial situation is sound. Right? But that, so that sword cuts both ways. People may feel more compelled to buy new cards with that stimulus money, uh, but they may also feel more compelled to buy used, uh, which is what I've been recommending to budget sensitive buyers for years. And that's great, again, until inventory begins drying up. When a surge of budget sensitive buyers is introduced to a market, the cheaper listings that are still reputable tend to disappear first. So I believe what we're partly looking at are the leftovers on eBay, the ads that were perhaps too expensive to be snagged any earlier. And I know that sounds like, it sounds a bit weird to say something like that, but, but really think about it. Why would these prices go up if a card like the 1660 Super, a direct rival of the 1070, is still available for purchase right now at 230 bucks, right? And, and on Newegg, you can get these cards within a week, which is significantly better turnover than Amazon's promoting right now. I think uh, if I wanted to buy an Amazon card, it'd, it'd get here like on May 24th, which is a month from now. Now, yes, inventory levels are dropping and production is slowing across the board, but what many of us can't predict is the level of demand from general consumers. Has it gone down since CV because of job scares and market decline? Has it gone up because of government stimulus packages? Or has it stayed somewhat the same? Are people still buying the way they used to? Food for thought. My take, remaining GTX 1070 listings haven't adjusted. Had 1660 Supers gone up in price, all of this would have made sense, but many cards have stayed true to their original MSRPs, and that's refreshing in the new market. Uh, and that's also why I cannot recommend that you spend 250 bucks on a used GTX 1070, a comparable used card. Now, if you do happen to find one for around 180 bucks, maybe $200, and maybe a bit more than that for a sweet AIB, like a Strix card or uh, something like that, fine. Snag it, it's your money, you see the value and the utility in it. But at 250 bucks, frankly, I think you're better off buying brand new for peace of mind's sake, for efficiency's sake, for the warranty's sake, and for the driver's sake. That's all for this one. Consider subscribing and leave feedback down below. My name is Greg. Thanks for learning with me.